and welcome humans. I am Dark Gazer. In today's world, humans are caught in a never-ending loop created by a modern global illusion. They're unknowingly controlled by those in power. Now, let's take a closer look at how this illusion impacts modern humans. Within the realm of this global illusion, individuals often find themselves unwittingly assuming various roles, such as merchants, teacher, or lawyer. While no external force compels them to adopt these identities, the subconscious influence of the societal structure crafted by those in authority prompts these inclinations. Thus, individuals are drawn to these roles through the subtle workings of their subconscious minds, perpetuating the illusionary framework orchestrated by those in power. We're constantly bombarded with messages telling us that owning the newest gadgets, fancy cars, and expensive clothes is what makes us successful and happy. So, many of us work really hard in jobs we might not even like, just to be able to buy these things that show off our status. But when we stop and think about it, we realize that chasing after all this stuff doesn't actually make us happy. Sure, we might feel good for a moment when we get something new, but that feeling quickly fades. What are we then? <laughs> Consumers. And before we know it, we're left feeling empty, like there's something missing. Plus, trying to keep up with what everyone else has can be super stressful. It impacts our thought process, makes us feel pressured, makes it difficult to think, and even make us forget what really matters to us. The things you own end up owning you. In today's fast-paced world, we're surrounded by a culture of idolizing celebrities we've never met. From Hollywood icons to social media influencers, we're bombarded with images and stories of their glamorous lives. But what fuels this obsession? Is it the desire for escapism? Raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars, but we won't. I'm slowly learning that fact. Being a billionaire is not an honorable qualification when most people gather more resources than they could use in a thousand lifetimes, while countless others are suffering in poverty or starving. The modern tech landscape pushes you to constantly compare your life to what others showcase online, leaving you feeling like you're always falling short. Plus, the whole Instagram scene? It's like a happiness roller coaster fueled by likes and comments. Every ding on your phone sends a jolt of pleasure to your brain. Ever notice how good it feels to get likes or comments on your social media posts? That's because it triggers a little chemical reaction in your brain called a dopamine spike. It's like a tiny burst of pleasure that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. We're led to believe that by emulating these icons and following the latest trends, we can somehow attain happiness and fulfillment. But are we really happy? Perhaps it's time to step back and question the narratives we've been sold. True happiness doesn't come from living vicariously through others or chasing after fleeting trends. It comes from within, from embracing our individuality and finding contentment in who we are. God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars, advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We're children of history, man. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Humans were controlled based on two of their emotions. They are fear and desire. These two emotional feelings of the humans were the basic foundation tactics or strategy of the enemy, which were used to manipulate us to fuel this system, where you were compelled to do things that were against humanity. You may feel something is not right, but you can't point out what's wrong. For example, imagine a scenario where a corporation uses fear tactics in advertising to convince consumers that they must purchase a certain product to protect their health or safety. Despite feeling uneasy about the manipulation, individuals may still find themselves compelled to buy the product due to their fear of the perceived consequences. Food, water, and land are the basic elements for human survival that are now taken by huge private corporations. There is no food in trees, no fresh water in streams, and no land to build a home. If you take what the earth provides, you are locked in their prisons. So we obey their rules, obey their scheduled rotational lifetime, where we work, and we work no time to live the life we meant, until one day our children take the path we left and continue the loop again and again. They designed this system where humans have no time to think. Finally, most people ask us, what can we do against them? They are the ones in power. To those people we say, we are humans. 
We are far more powerful than them. We are the ones who gave them the power. We are the ones who built their system, and we are the ones who fight their wars. But in the end, what stops us from helping each other? What stops us from being kind to ourselves? People dislike war, yet weapons are still made. Whose war we are fighting? Who did the government buy the earth from? Then why do we pay the government? There are so many topics that we should discuss, but for now, all we want humans to think, ask questions in your mind, and be awakened. Strength through unity, unity through faith. Murder, crime, poverty, these things don't concern me. What concerns me are celebrity magazines, television with 500 channels, some guy's name on my underwear.